Okay, this is going to be an iPhone 7 LCD refurb video. Um, can't show you that the display is working. Don't even know that it's working myself because I don't have the phone here to test it. But um, I trust where I got it from. Um, doesn't look too badly cracked. And when the phone comes a bit later, I'll be able to plug it in and uh, see that it's working once it's all done. I'm fairly confident with the process and uh, shouldn't think there'll be any problems. So um, here we go. So we've got the heat plate on. It's at um, 70 degrees. And um, so just leave it here for a minute. Warm up the glue around the edges and we're going to remove the frame. Not very good with these um, cameras, so I'm going to try and keep it in camera view as much as I can and show you what I'm doing. But I do apologise if it goes off. So what I'm trying to do is just cut these corners. Okay, with a pair of these anvil shears, I think they're called. So you do that on all four corners so that you can remove the frame. Or just enough frame to get your... Um, wire in there to remove the glass ok so that's done, I'll put it back on the heat plate sometimes these come off fairly easy, sometimes they are a nightmare So we'll see how this one goes. And I'll just take the pliers on some of the metal end. And this one is fairly tough, but um, it's coming away. Yeah, quite easy actually, as far as iPhone 7s go. Okay, then we'll do the same down the other side. Okay, now I need to run a blade down these edges just to make sure that they are completely smoothed out um, before we go running our wire through here to separate it. So I just take a blade like this. I don't want to cut my silicone mat, so um, move that out of the way. Literally just drag that down and get rid of some glue, some paint and any excess plastic that remains. Okay, and we are good, I think. Place this on your hot map. Find your uh, wire to separate it with. In fact, I've got some new inner wire came in the post, so. That try. Okay, 
Alright, I've got some of these. They won't cut my fingers off, hopefully. So, yeah, there you go. Screw that down. <sighs> Couldn't have made that the same size screw as what they use in the iPhone, could they? No. Gotta get a different bit. fairly easy. I'm just going to take it over to my bin so that I can pull that off there and not get it everywhere. Okay, it does need to come back through which we'll try and do without dragging any glass along so that we can keep the polarizer good. And then just take that last little bit off there again where it restuck. As you can see now that glass just easily peels away on the iPhone 7. Like that. So that's the main bulk of the glass in the bin. But you do have to be careful of these little shards that remain. Because if you're cleaning the glue off and you drag one of those across, you're going to scratch your polarizer and then you're going to need to replace that, which is a pain. So we want to avoid that if we can. So um, just try and kind of get them off. And this is rubbish, it doesn't work. So just carefully pick them off before you really go at trying to remove the glue. And then this glue, I find just rubs away with your thumb. You don't need to put any chemicals on here. Very gentle pressure, find an edge and work with it until you've got most of the bulk of that glue off.
And this probably takes a bit longer than, you know, throwing some chemicals on here and seeing it all just dissolve, but I haven't got to use the chemicals, I much prefer it that way. careful not to touch or bend the cable. See how that's coming off? Nice and easy. I'd call it easy anyway. And I'm comparing that to the likes of the old iPhone 5 and 6. Some of the 6s came off like this, but some of them, they used some different glue and it was painful. Be extra careful along this top edge where the flex cable joins. Okay, so that's now, it's got most of the glue off there, but we are not, uh, we're not clean and ready to, to put the glass on that yet. So, heat plate has now done its job, so we can wind that out of the way. and I just put a little bit of goo gone literally just a tiny little touch 
and work that gently over the display. Still taking care not to put too much of this stuff on the edges because I still don't want any leaking into the backlight. Okay, that's got a good covering. I'm going to take a dry edge and just run that around the edge of the display just in case and that prevents any leaking into the backlight. Um, this one cleaned up pretty well as it was actually so I didn't really need to do that but I just wanted to show you. And then these last little bits they mop up. Let's adjust to that. They mop up these last little bits quite nicely. Very gentle with a plastic razor. Just a dab of IPA, 99% alcohol. Clean off the goo gone. And that bit ensures that every last trace of glue is gone from that display. And then the final step is a brand new clean room wipe. Some of this. Little spray. And that's just to finish it off and make it look untouched and brand new. And then obviously you just go ahead and use your favourite laminating machine, put the new glass on there, and you are golden.